Didn't know Eileen had sent a card. Cheeky cow, like we want away from her. David, we got cards of fallen neighbours. Well, she's more than a neighbour, Nick. Is she? Oh. Here we are. I think we should ration this today, you know. I can't remember if there's uh, anywhere to spend a penny in that church. <laughs> Thanks, Audrey. Ta. Everything all right? Yeah, fine. Except Sarah's refusing to get up. She says she's not going to the funeral and we can all go without her. You joking? Oh, poor little thing. David, how many times have I told you you eat your breakfast at the table? What does that matter today, Gail? Well, if you don't mind picking up the crumbs, then don't let me stand in your way. Ma'am, will you have a word with her? Oh, Gail, we can't force her to do so much she doesn't want to, even if it is the right thing. Oh, go on. See if I can tempt her with this cup of tea. Do you need a hand with anything, Gail? No, I've, uh, I've just got sandwiches to do. Come on, four hands will be quicker than two. Yeah, OK. She will go, watch you, man. She can't miss her own son's funeral. Yeah, of course she'll go. Wish I had your confidence, Martin. It's just I'm going to ask her if I could carry a coffin. What, all on your own? Yeah, you want my nephew. <laughs> Well, it's a nice thought, that, David. Yeah, it's a lovely thought, David. But I think the reality is going to be a bit much for you. Well, I'm just as strong as you. I can carry Barney's hutch, no problem. Uh, David, no disrespect, oh, but... Oh, don't be too hard on him, Nick. David, your emotions are going to be all over the place today. I don't even know I could do it. But somebody's got to. Yeah, well, um, we'll ask the undertaker. We're going to have enough to deal with. Actually, I'll do it. It'd be an honour. Shouldn't the, um, baby's father be carrying the coffin? Todd gave up your right to that baby the minute he dropped Sarah for another man. Yeah, too flipping right. It turned the funeral into a laughing stock. Well? Can you look? She's adamant. Oh, Gail, what am I gonna do? You all right, mate? Decided to go then. So the father would have been if I didn't. No one's forcing you, love. Mum, I never even held him. I never even said hello, never mind goodbye. I never even told him I loved him. I know. It's just, uh, I've got this knot in my stomach like something bad's going to happen. Something bad did happen. I lost my son. I'm, I'm just worried that the plats are going to kick off. You know what they're like. And I know I shouldn't care, but funerals are supposed to be dignified. If you show your face, they might turn this into a bun fight. And I know that Billy was your son. But you're mine, Todd. And I don't want to see you any more upset than you already are. I'm just getting everything ready. I'm up to my elbows in coleslaw. Oh. Look, Sally's bought a cake. Well, actually, it's a roulade. Hello, Sally. Hi. I heard you were putting on a bit of a spread, and I had this going spare. Black Forest roulade. It's a nice one. It's from that freezer place on Balaclava Terrace, so it's not cheap. Oh, no. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll put it on the table. Yeah. Make some room for it, Gail. What's that? Oh, Sarah, I can't begin to think what you're going through at the moment. So you brought me a cake? Well, actually, that's... Well, why didn't you just bring some balloons and party poppers while you were at it? Sarah! Um, I'll go to... No, I'll go. Kevin said this was a mistake. I should have listened to him. Nonsense. No, come on. We appreciate it so much, Sally. No, it's just Sarah. She's got it into her head. She's not coming to the funeral. Why not? You tell me. Oh, yeah. Cheer up, love. It might never happen. Sarah. Just get lost, will you? Sarah, I think it's time you start getting ready for the service. Just leave me alone. No. Sarah, if you miss today, I swear you'll live to regret it. Oh, you're getting off on this, aren't you? You're such a drama queen. Sarah, that's unfair. Like, I care. <clears throat> I remember when Princess Diana went. I know this is going to sound a bit daft, but I don't know. I always felt that if we'd met, she'd have been my pal. She believed in the underdog. You 
it hit me ever so hard. I took myself off down to London, camped out near the Abbey. The atmosphere was amazing. The sea of sleeping bags. She touched all our lives, see, and we all wanted to say goodbye. Doesn't say goodbye. Fear. It weren't right the way she went. It was way before her time. The flame blown out when it should have gone on burning. And I know it doesn't seem right for you. I mean, at least she had 30 odd years. Billy didn't even see 30 days. But Sarah, the reason I think it hit me so hard with Diana, listen to me, first name terms, was that I, I always felt she'd have fought me corner. My mum and dad never did, but but she would have. Got no fight left, Haley. I should. I can't face it. Who knows? Maybe if Billy had lived till, till he was 30 odd, he'd have made an impact and, and been celebrating, and thousands of people would have lined the streets of Weatherfield to say goodbye, but they didn't. There's only an handful met him, and even though he wasn't here for very long, I still think his life's worth celebrating. Don't you? I'm so scared though, Hayley. I feel like a little kid. Only I'm not supposed to feel like this today. I'm supposed to be someone's mum. I'm supposed to be grown up. And all I want is someone to put their arms around me and tell me it's going to be okay. We all feel like that. No matter how old we get. I bet Gail feels like that. I bet Audrey feels like that. But we get on. Sometimes we just have to. Sarah? Hey again. Sarah's a bit upset. Oh. Is it any wonder? Must have been wondering where I got to. Well, I know now. You are fancy. Nice hot bath. Come on, well. I'll run you one with lots and lots of bubbles. Is the time? Yes. There is. Come on. Thanks, Haley. We're all thinking about you, Sarah. I've got so much stuff going on in my head. I think I'm going mad. You're normal. You're not mad. All these things are what I say to Sarah. Well, why don't you put it down in a letter? But I can say it all today. Yeah, but with a letter, she can read it, keep it, and think about it. If you say something now, it's all going to come out wrong. Your feelings are going to get the better of you. You don't want me to go, do you? It's not a matter of what I want, Todd. In an ideal world, I want us all to go. Heads held high. Say goodbye to him properly. While we're on the subject, if I really had what I'd wanted, I want my grandson alive and well, keeping me up at night. We don't always get what we want in this life. We both know that. Mum, there's no milk. Where's the milk? Come to think of it, I'll have a full fridge and all. You'll have to go to the shop, love. Hey, if you want to go to the funeral, mate, you should go. I mean, just because you're through, it doesn't make you any less the father, do you know what I mean? I want to give him this. I never got the chance. Didn't give it to him any time. Hey. We'll all go, the three of us, together. And there's no sign of the plats. Is that how she went from the shop? No. I'm still going to wear my suit later. Yeah. Look dead smart. Dad to be proud of. Let's get the jacket off, eh? Don't want to crease it.
Hello again, Mrs. Platt. She's been very brave, Reverend. Sarah, you know Billy has the eternal love of his family and the eternal love of Christ. Thank you, Reverend. Sure, you're up to it. Sarah, I'm worried about. I've made a lovely job of the flowers, Angel. Be careful with him. Is it safe, hands? She's only a baby herself, man. I thought this would be perfect for the wedding photos. Time to go. You were going to give me away. I used to dream of you walking me up the aisle. Never thought I'd be behind my baby's coffin. It's quite a turnout from the neighbours. They'd turn up at hanging with their own knitting, that lot. They were showing respect. Yeah, some were. Some were having a nose. I'm not hungry. Funny that. Sorry. My head's cabbaged. I don't... I know. The size of that coffin. I don't know who I'm crying for. You don't need it, do you, love? I'm not allowed to grieve for my own son. We're going later, though, yeah? Chai said I can buy the van. Why have I got a skulk around? I'm Billy's dad. My son has died. Come on, Todd. Mum's right, they'd only say you'd hijacked it. Just something else to throw at you. Look, maybe we should go out a walk or something. The what, I'm taking my mind off it, yeah? But, Todd... Just leave it, eh, man? I'll go and have a soak and just uh, get out of his hair, just... You said you'd keep an eye. What am I meant to do? Tie him to the chair? If that's what it takes, yes. Mum, let him do what he's got to do. I'll get dressed. Just bring the van round. Aye, aye. Don't even smoke. I had to come. It's your funeral. spoke sternly to them but when Jesus saw this he was indignant he said to them let the little children come to me do not stop them for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God okay. could have been better she's dead brave mm. wouldn't surprise me if she threw herself in after the little Mike at least the father had the decency to stop at home. He didn't show his face more like. To you, gentle father, we humbly entrust this child so precious in your sight. Take him into your arms and welcome him into your presence, for there is no sorrow nor pain but the fullness of peace and joy with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I can't see. 
see him. He's here somewhere. Yeah, there's plenty of room here. What are they doing here? David. We have entrusted Billy to God's mercy. We now commit his body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Ensure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies that they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever. Amen. Amen. May the love of God and the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ bless you and console you and all who have loved Billy this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Sarah? Good night, Billy. God bless. Sleep tight, precious angel. Rest in peace, Billy lad. No way. No way! I need to say goodbye to my son. Great dad you turned out to be! You killed him and you bring a teddy! Oh, David, come here. If it makes you feel any better, no one can blame me as much as I blame myself. But Billy is my son. I wasn't there for him when he came into the world. And I wasn't there for him when he died. But I have to be here now. You understand that? Said our goodbyes. We'll leave you to yours. Thank you. have put Sarah's name and yours on the card. Have they? Quite right, too. It's a bit muddy. Sorry, mate. Thanks. Okay. You'll be it in no time, won't you, mate? Uncle Jay's found it for you. It's been a right kick-off here. Didn't it? Saying goodbye for having said hello. I think about you every day for the rest of my life. And I'm sorry I let you down. But it's complicated. And I would have been a good dad. Sleep tight, Billy Grimshaw. The most wonderful thing that's ever happened to me.